veggies and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. So a very common thing that happens in homes is the fight over the thermostat. And usually the dad is in charge of it. Sometimes thermostats end up in a lockbox so nobody touches them. And if somebody touches them, they're in trouble. Trying to find a happy medium in a regular household is usually beyond the general knowledge. Most people don't know this. This is where you need somebody like us at ICS. We figure out and fine tune and personalize your personal comfort. It's like having your own black market dealer in personal comfort. From the moment you place a call with ICS, you are the most important person on the planet. From the point of contact with our dispatcher in our office to when our technician leaves your place, we wanna make sure that we exceed every expectation you had. So if you are tired of that house with the cold and hot spots and you want more personal comfort, visit our website, icshvac.com. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Hey, don't you just love it when more assistant sports broadcast your games? Or do you prefer a silent motion detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports award-winning service that it's brings you play-by-play -play commentary, right live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. Is it time for you to replace your roof? Well, give Hadco Builders in Chester, New Jersey a call. They've built an amazing reputation over the past 30 years as one of New Jersey's top builders. Hadco will replace your roof the right way at a super fair price and usually get the job done by the time you come home from work. Call or text Tony to get a quote today at 973-818-8516 or visit them at hadcobuilders.com. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right, because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Me in this game, we got big plans. Overcoming every challenge. And right now, that means getting by him. It means putting in the time to get faster, to get stronger. One thing is for certain, I will never be outworked.
Watching your loved one play high school sports is a special time in their life you don't want to regret missing. If you're not present for these events due to drinking, misusing medication, or lost control using drugs recreationally, the team at Recovery Centers of America can help. My name is Don, and I'm a treatment advocate for RCA, and I stopped drinking 30 years ago. If I can do it, so can you. Muster up the courage and call me anytime, even in the middle of the night, at 973-722-4720 for a confidential conversation so we can get you back in the stands where you belong. Concerned family members can also call me. Again, any conversation will be absolutely discreet. I am here for you. Just pick up the phone. for them we're here for you get back the life you love it's your time to shine this summer we are ready to help you conquer any exam our expert tutors will teach you key concepts useful strategies and time management skills to make you feel more ready for exams here are the tests we can help you prepare for give us a call today to learn more about our test preparation programs and to set up your initial assessment we'll give you a practice test and use your scores to help create a customized game plan fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WISP supports my passions. I truly believe that WISP wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. We're talking to you. Don't let the summer sun melt your child's mind. Our customized learning and passion exploring programs are the perfect way to beat the dreaded summer slump. Instead of losing two to three months of learning this summer, we're helping students gain a month of learning by the fall. Our fun and engaging tutors are ready to help. Call to inquire about our programs and special promotions, including small group tutoring for only $45. We'll see you this summer. isn't just what we call ourselves. It represents all we are called to. Let's go! We strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true to putting others before ourselves, to the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll Wave. Gus Wilder, as the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank. 
I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Rich Latman, realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. Morris Sussex Sports has a big goal we want to ask your help in achieving. One of the most popular things we do is publish digital trading cards of athletes. We feel strongly that high school athletes are one of the most important parts of our community, and the trading cards allow us to recognize and celebrate as many athletes as possible. So we have a lofty mission to create a trading card for every single athlete that wears a sports jersey in the Morris Sussex area. But to do that, we need more local businesses that want to help us by sponsoring these trading Trading cards. This is a great way for a business to endear themselves to the communities they do business in. And not only would their business be featured prominently as a sponsor of a new scholar athlete every week, we also advertise them across our social media, our website, and our game broadcasts. And we get over 4 million views a week, 80% of whom are adults 35 to 65. There is no other publication or media company that has even close to that reach in this region. So if you know of a local business that loves to support the scholar athletes in their town or their surrounding area and would benefit from the exposure we would bring, please send them our way. Just call or text 973-713-5944 or email george at morrissussexsports.com. Behind the goal, we reset, and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti. Oh! In the end zone, it is... Caught! Charge. Good for the pass. Here's a shot. Right in front. Score! And that is a base hit. The run will score. And freshman pull check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three. He got it! Ah! ah. Here on Morris Elite TV, right here at Frederick Douglass Field, Nick Carlson joined alongside by Morris Sussex Sports. The Morris Elite doing battle with the Hudson Valley Hammers on a beautiful day. Had about four or five days of basically just straight rain. Clouds have cleared ahead of this one. About to get set and underway between two teams on the opposite sides of the division, specifically in the Metropolitan. We've got the Morris Elite right now sitting at 2-5-1. Only with eight goals for on the season and then 20 goals against. So a team that has struggled to put up a lot of goals on the season. And they're going to play a team in the Hudson Valley Hammers that really have had no struggles at all. 19 goals for and 12 goals against for the Hudson Valley Hammers. And they come into this one as the two seed. 6-2-0 and oh, as the starters up on the screen. You got Matias Molina in net. And then number four, Ralph Pascarella, Henrik Perestrello, and Gonzalo Franco. Henrik Perestrello, a couple goals to his game. Also, Augustine Puentes, Tomas Nunez, and Jordan Kanika, who can fly down the sides. Sean Riley and Gavin Morgan in that backside, protecting Matthias Molina. Soto Matsu gets the start as well in this one. Haven't seen his face 
You have Ethan Streeter coming in as well. This is a team in the Morris Elite who are 2-5-1, and one, trying to rewrite the ship. Not a lot of games left to go as we're set and ready to get underway in this one. And it starts quickly with Parastrella booting one all the way out of bounds. Puentes, who had two goals just a couple games ago, last time that we saw him here at home, was against Ironbound. It's a quick two that happened in that first 10 minutes, but Hudson Valley, a very good, dominant team, just sits right behind the Rough Riders. Rough Riders who have not lost a game yet. Well, excuse me, they actually have 9 1 and 1. And 33 goals for is now in the box and a lot of heading around before whistles blow. Offsides just waiting for it. It seemed like it was going to be called earlier, but it's going to be the Hudson Valley Hammers. And you've got Kieran Dalton in net, Sebastian Rozik as well, Paul Mackage, Matthew Wyant, Andrew Cutler, De Jesus, and Devin Hinu as well. And then Mohamed Suman, Jaid Hamadou, and Ben Zakowski as Morgan plays it back to Molina. Started out the season with Velasquez as Molina punts one away and now shot and scored. Just a quick one, Molina just sent it right over on the top of the box and a ball sent right back. The Hudson Valley Hammers quickly on the board, 1-0. 117 through. A little bit of a mental there from Matias Molina. We talked about it all season long with Matias Molina who goes to Seton Hall. Played about 25 minutes at Seton Hall. And that was in one game. And that was his lone playing time. Haven't really seen him do much of anything with Seton Hall as a backup. Came in in this one. Had a great game against FA Euro New York. Gave up a goal in the 82nd minute. But 81 minutes through, he was phenomenal coming in for Velasquez. A little bit of a mental error there with him. As we look to get set and underway, referees just over talking in the corner, 206 through in a 1 0 game. Rough Riders with 33 goals for and six against. They have the most in the division. You got Hudson Valley Hammers there as well at the number two spot. They are also the two seed. Trying to battle for that wild card spot and needing to score a lot of goals as Ethan Streeter now moving with it. And quickly up. Now it's Puentes moving on that far side. Trying to go around and now whistles blow as we're gonna say it just went out the end of the goal line. So 246. We get our first look at Kieran Dalton who's in net. He's got a really good team in front of him. Only allowed 12 goals on the season. But you've got a goal differential of a plus seven to 19 and 12. So many of these goalies have done a good job when at least in point blank, but they also have very good defenders behind them. NJ Copa, 21 goals for and 13 goals against. They're the second closest in terms of the goals against. As Pascarella sends one in for Puentes. <coughs> Had that front line of Perestrello, Nunez, Puentes as well. Franco's gotten involved. Seen him come out of a couple games too. Hasn't started. Or at least he didn't start in the last game. Then started the one before that. Done a nice job of rotating him as well. Hamadou sends one all the way down the far side. And it'll be more asleep all 30 seconds. Just about, maybe about two minutes and 30 seconds since that last goal in a 1-0 game. It was a quick one as Perestrello on that far side. Working over, but a little bit of a heavy press here from the Hammers is now up with it is Franco. Molina pushes one back, gets his first touch since the mental error with the goal is Nunez. Now working, gets it over to Kanika. You know that Kanika can fly, now moving down the side. Looks over and then just goes back. perestrello has got to play it off of his foot. And then now they look to slow things down. Riley gets his first touch in this one. Him and Morgan have done a good job of manning the back. Heavy press from the majority of the teams that they've played have made it 
It's a little difficult for him. Schaefer's already leading 1-0. Boot went all the way down, moving towards the far side. 5-0-8. in a 1-0 game. You look at just the way that the division has worked out, you got the Long Island Rough Riders at that one spot and then Hudson Valley at two. And then you go a bunch of spots down to the Morris League. There's 10 teams with Ironbound being the number 10 team and then FA Euro New York being nine. The Morris Elite did draw with the Euro New York who sit at that nine spot and then they beat Ironbound three to one. Also beat Westchester as well. As Streeter steps in front of one, now pushing one over, has got Kanika and Puentes to his right. Kanika looking for somewhere to go. Now gets it back for Nunez. Nunez fires one up, headed off. Now Franco and Perestrello get involved too, and whistles blow as Franco might have hit him from behind. Took a little bit of a fall. Paul Mackish might have sold it all there a little bit. But he boots one all the way over. Molina's got to come out and finally punches it away. Molina about 10 or 15 yards outside that box. 6.33. If it makes a difference for whatever reason, it's already a 1-0 game. Alex Velasquez is dressed. Happened the last time with Molina where he was pulled. You got to hope that doesn't happen again. As now riding that sideline and punched out. It's going to be Morris Lee Ball. In terms of for playoffs and wild cards, Hudson Valley hammers. Whether winning the division or not, as Molina plays one weird off of his foot, still inside the box, now fired and into the back of the net. Molina. Another one just kind of came off his foot weird, and it leads to another goal in a seven and a half minute span. 2 0 game. Hudson Valley Hammers lead over the Morris Elite. Just Molina with the one that he kind of played off his foot towards the top of the box into a waiting foot of a defender, and another one there, just a couple head scratchers, 7.50 through, Molina. Technically responsible for both of the goals is Molina now playing it off his foot, and then gets it up to Riley. Streeter, who had a red card the last couple games or so, punches one. All the way behind the bleachers, 8-16 through. And for a Morris Elite team who's come into this game, with only eight goals, four down by two. Going to need a lot out of your forwards, specifically guys like Nunez, who's currently in control with it. Puentes, too. Franco, who sets him up, and Kanika, who you know can range pretty far down the sides. Hudson Valley Hammers, as of right now, the only team they would be contending with would be Montero. In terms of for the wild card, is that one sent all the way down. Molina plays it off his foot once again. Another one that goes high and about maybe 10 yards away as Pascarella comes over to help. Refs talk it over. Pascarella looking for somewhere to go. Now gets it in for Nunez. Nunez working down the side and finally shoved to the ground. It's going to be a free kick coming for Nunez as they play it back to Morgan. And Morgan gets one of his first touches. You see, and Riley touched the majority of it 
within the defense. Morgan, who didn't start that first game at home, has now started every game from here on out. As 10 minutes through, Kanika moving down the sideline and finally lost it. Kanika waves his hands up in despair. Not sure if he was looking at the refs or telling Puentes to go somewhere else, but they play it back to Dalton. And it goes all the way towards the midline. As now a little bit of a shove. Pascarella went airborne. Went up to take a little bit of a header, but Hamadou just completely shoved him. Riley punches one up and Hammer still with it. Now a turnover. Streeter gets his feet all over it. Now Perestrello on top of it. Finally, it's punched away. All the way over for Hamadou. As now Hamadou, Pascarella over pursues, and Hamadou now down the side and whistles blow off sides. Pascarella might have got away with one there, just completely overshot the header, and Hamadou, if that ball came down just a little faster, it would have been a one on one right on that side with Molina. Ball that was targeted for Kanika and Puentes. Just not able to get it there. So now Shamadou over on the side. Morgan plays it off of his head and Pascarella finally gets it away. Ball that rolls over. Franco gets involved as well and now here comes Nunez. Nunez looking for somewhere to go. Runs into a lot of problems. Didn't even... Not sure if he thought about passing it or not, but just completely got the ball tangled in his feet. Is now working on Riley over in the corner. Ball fluttered up. Kanika plays it off his foot, comes off his foot kind of weird, and Hammer's still in possession. The Morris Lee, every time they turn the ball over, just the frustration mounting. As now a ball lasered right off of Morgan's forearm and now whistles blow. It'll be a kick coming from Molina. I'm just outside the box and they elect to go the short route. Now over to Puentes, Puentes working back and takes a fall, held his hamstring for a sec, because now they've set up on the side and ranging over. Kieran Dalton still applying the pressure though. Matsuo is all over him. Haven't seen his face in the starting lineup as Puentes gets in front and now Franco and Perestrello try to move it forward. Matsuo plays it back and there's some errant passing there. Is now a lot of speed and finally falling. Amadou got his legs tangled out from under him. Got a free kick coming, 13-18 through. Nicholas Zialinka is the leading scorer for the Hudson Valley Hammers. He's not in the lineup right now. He is on the bench. He's now a header crossed over and just over the right shoulder of Paul Mackage. You got to expect that Nicholas Zielinka is going to come in as well. Other than that, a lot of these goals are pretty much split straight through. Zielinka has six. Other than that, a lot of different guys. They can hit you in a lot of different ways. As Nunez a clean slide tackle. Franco over to the side. Matsuo now working over with the left. Fires a shot. It's a dribbler right into the hands of Kieran Dalton. Matsuo had a good opportunity there. 14 minute mark. Morris Elite showing a little bit of press, and they finally boot it over. Pascarella just sends it away. 15 
15 through. As now Nunez plays it back and had an opportunity to keep going forward with it, but just plays it back Franco to Nunez and now running into a lot of problems here as Perestrello just moving it backwards. Well, he had an opportunity to uh, potentially move it forward, but now it just makes its way all the way back to Molina. As Riley sends one up and over Kanika. And Perestrello passing back and forth. Morrisley just struggling to get past the midline. Nunez now looking over. He's got a cutting Pascarella. Pascarella on the break. Looking. Punches one over and inside the box. <coughs> Sent away as Perestrello as the elite starting to knock on the door a little bit. In these last two minutes or so as Kanika applying pressure as well. 15-50 through. Good time to also let you know that the Morris Elite Super Wide tryouts. Morris Elite Super Wide team is one of the best opportunities to go against some of the top players in the region. You can try out this summer for an opportunity to qualify for nationals in Tampa, Florida, as well as be as a part of the Morris Elite. As trainers are going to go take a look at Henrique Perestrello, who's currently down. No signal if they're going to call the trainers and. Now Kanika is going to be the one to call him over. As the trainer is going to come out. They're going to take a look at Perestrello currently down. We're going to take a quick step off for everyone here. Morris Lee and Morris Sussex Sports. See you in about a minute or so. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. So, Henry Perestrello, who walked off under his own power. Doesn't seem like he's going to come back in, at least now. Trainers went over. Looks like it was his hamstring. As everyone takes some water breaks. When we get more information on him, we'll let you know. Be a killer to lose Henry Perestrello's had a couple of goals for this Morris Elite team. Come up big in certain situations. 18-0-2 through, and a ball sent over, and the Hammers just kind of end up playing it backwards. Mackage plays it off of his chest. And then now ends up back on his foot. Di Pareto has Franco and now Morgan. Morgan's got to move quickly with it. Eighteen thirty through 2-0. Riley, who has been the facilitator at some times, He's had a couple assists. Looking to get this team back on track. The oldest member of the team. As that ball lasers all the way over to Pascarella. Pascarella now Franco and being heavily guarded. Is Franco looking for somewhere to go. Perestrello now back in the game. Hamstring seems to be just fine. As Riley ends up back with it. Riley punches one, and now Matsuo just a little too far out of his reach. Kieran Dalton's not really had that much to face here. Had two shots here and there. But they were really nowhere within distance of where something could have actually happened as Morgan thought about over-pursuing. Now inside the box, moving quickly with the left. Now with the right, Riley... Looks like he hit him to the ground and whistles blow. And if I'm not mistaken, we have a penalty coming in. I think we do. So 
So it'll be a penalty shot. Riley, the one who committed the foul. He had one last game against the Rough Riders. Same situation, a penalty shot that ended up in the back of the net. But we have Mohamed Suman. Molina is currently allowed two. Two of which were mostly his fault. As now 2-0 and finds the right side of the net. Make it 3-0. Muhammad Suman, 20-38 through. And the Hudson Valley Hammers are going to town on the Morris Elite right now. So Riley, who gets charged with allowing the penalty shot. Not sure if Schumann would have really got it off. Was running into a lot of traffic there between Riley and Morgan. A lot of feet tangling. Gave him a golden opportunity. Then Molina's two, I'd say more of mental breakdowns. Set him up as Franco just a little too far in the receipt of the pass. Says now whistles blow as Franco got his feet tangled underneath. Matthew Wyatt was the one who hit the deck and we're not even halfway through this one. It's a 3-0 game. The girls are winning 1-0. Claire Manning got on the board with a goal. A beautifully played pass off the side. Streeter gets involved. Now Streeter working hard over on the side and gets it back to Riley. Riley lost it. Now the Hammer's trying to move quickly with it. Streeter bumps and now trying to go quickly. And finally, ball that flutters out of bounds. A lot of legs tangling and a lot of traffic. 22-10 through. This is also a great time to let you know that you can head down to the Snooky Shop where you can get some of the best clothing, accessories, beauty, and Shoes is now inside the box, pushing up ahead. The Hammer's still with it and in control. Wyant punishes one. Hamadou and Suman moving quickly as now whistles blow. Nunez looked like he kicked in the stomach of Wyant. He gets up slowly and finally they're able to get it away. You can get some of the best hand picked by Snooky herself. Yes, the Snooky from the Jersey Shore. You can take a trip to the Snooky shop today, located at 32 Main Street in Madison. As now Suman up ahead, and Molina comes out and snags it right over Morgan. Suman, who just had the goal before, has set up for another opportunity as we're halfway through. This one in a 3-0 game. Riley and Kanika passing back and forth. Kanika flutters one all the way down. Streeter trying to range over. And just way too far out of his reach. Just not able to connect on a lot of these passes are the Morris Elite. A lot of good opportunities as Kanika steps in front of one and now fired off of the leg of Dalton. Kanika played that perfectly and him and Puentes right there. Dalton was way out of net. Corner kick coming. This is the first one of the game. And it comes at the 24-10 minute mark. Good opportunity here for the Elite as Kanika winds up and he boats one up. Headed up Morgan, now played and sent down the line and inside the flag, so throw in coming. You've got Riley pushed all the way up. Streeter is at mid. Morgan playing up as well, so a little bit of a press here from the Elite. As now it's sent all the way away, and Morgan's got to play it. So a corner kick 
corner kick that had an opportunity, but everyone's got to range back now. That was the first corner kick of this game and the last game that they had played as Perestrello once again goes down, now holding that left leg. Perestrello who gets up slowly and a yellow card now shown off 25-26 through. This Hudson Valley Hammers team who, as I had talked about it before, I mean, they sit at number two and 19 goals for now. You can make it 22 and 12 goals against. It's really just been a two-man race between Hudson Valley and Long Island. You've got Manhattan there as well. NJ Copa, a team that, if it wasn't for a lot of the yellow cards played through, Morris Elite. Did exceptionally well in that one. Held down Copa is now a ball sent all the way inside the box and whistles blow and we're gonna say it's gonna be on Hudson Valley is 26-32 through. In a 3-0 game, Nunez just looking to get something going have struggled to get it anywhere really near the box and challenge Kieran Dalton. The first save that he really had to make was when Kanika stepped in front of it. Now Hamadou fires one and just hits off the post. Just kind of wound one up and that was pink cleats. Now Franco in the orange cleats. Matsu in the blue ones. Other than that, no one really wears anything that colorful as Franco just played a weird off of his foot. Still ends up with it as Pascarell as they play it back to Riley. And Riley, head coach of Manhattan. As I talked about earlier, oldest member of the team, 32 years old. As now Molina runs into a lot of problems way outside the net. Doing a good job of just pushing them all the way back. Molina was trying to get rid of it. Now he plays it. What I thought he was just kicking it, but it just seems like he's just kicking it out of frustration. A corner kick coming. Three zero and the first corner kick coming here from the Hammers. Headed up and Molina snags it in the air. 28-25 through. Once again, another ball just played too far out of the outstretched feet of Perestrello. And Riley just sends one away as well. Puente is able to battle for it. Leach is trying to cross the line. Puentes who plays it off of Nunez. Now Franco doing a good job of setting screens as now Nunez almost plays it through the feed and whistles blow. Nunez got a little too aggressive. Over with Rojek as Morgan's forced to play defense, finally sends one away in Pascarella. We'll slow it down as it almost just feels like the Hammers have slowed down as well. As now Puentes and Franco, they have some numbers up in front. Franco looks towards the right side, got Pascarella. Pascarella, a bunch of moves. Now sets up Matsu. Matsu through the legs and 
ended up just losing. He got it in the hammers, just trying to get away with it. Matsu trying to get a foot on it, finally sends one down the line. Throw in coming. Absolute laser as Morgan able to punch one up away. Kanika's got to get a foot on it. Runs into a lot of problems. There's no whistle called. Kanika wanted something. As Puentes on that far side, him and Streeter playing give and go. As Streeter tries to send one away, and it just goes off of the feet of Zakowski. Rowan coming and haven't seen any subs. Even when Perestrello went down with what looked to be that hamstring type situation, was down on the ground for a little bit, but seems to be okay as this one's sent all the way back to the line as well. So another throw in coming. If you're just joining us now, at a 3-0 game, Molina, who had sent one inside the box, as Kanika tries to get a foot on one there. Molina, who had was just trying to get rid of one on a goal kick, ended up just sending one right over to the Hammers and just sent right back at him, wasn't able to get back to it. That brought it to a 1-0 game, and then he had another one where he kind of just whiffed on getting rid of one, and it just ended up right in the in the face of the hammers and sent another one right back to him. So Molina responsible for two of the goals. Riley with a penalty kick that was set up by him pulling down a defender as Matsu takes a little bit of a fall and finally able to kick it away. Pascarella plays it off of his foot weird, and now it's up ahead. Hamadou working over, and then finally he runs into Nunez and a throw in coming. Hamadou takes a little bit of a fall. Nunez runs over him, now looking for somewhere to go. Nunez just playing it back, had numbers up in front of him, just didn't really go with it regardless if it was a three on four. At least had some clear space in front of him, just likes to go backwards with it. As now Pascarella up head to Franco, just threw his legs and his just can't get on the same page in terms of with the passing lanes. Has Puentes over to Streeter, now Streeter's on the run. He's got Sikowski following him as well. Haven't seen Perestrello get a lot of touches this last couple minutes or so. Streeter has got a good majority of it as he loses it and just goes and trails down the line. Morris Lee have not been able to at any point really take an opportunity inside the box. Sets one over now, Pascarella. He's got to play it on the side, working over to the left. Puentes and Riley now getting closer as they send one in. Still moving up quickly with it. Puentes up ahead. Now looking for somewhere to go, they play it back. The Elite getting closer as the Hammers play it off their feet and finally just trying to get it away, and they do. The Hammers doing a good job, is now set up on the side. Morgan's not there. Hamadou up ahead, finally sends one away. Morgan showing off the speed. Pascarella trying to keep it in, rides the line perfectly, and a lot of hustle out of the Elite, specifically by Morgan. Tracing it all the way down to Pascarella to keep it in as now bodies fall and a great catch there by Nunez.
Aristrello, who's now down. He had him down earlier with the hamstring. He's going to get up slowly or at least fight to potentially try to get up as now Parastrella is just going to come off. Parastrello just slowly and very gingerly moving around. be crucial if he were to come off because you get the goal scoring with him and then you get a good defender as well. He's very agile. Franco and Matsu passing back and forth. Franco had lost it for a second and Puentes just ends up playing it back. Riley up ahead to Franco and Franco now moving up quickly with it, Perestrello. And Pascarella, the Hammers have done a good job in that third half, just not really allowing them anywhere near that box. It's now a body down for the Hammers and Riley up ahead moving quickly. Up ahead now, Kanika plays it off of his foot. Moving with the right up ahead, Matsu fires his shot and it's a ground ball right into the waiting hands of Kieran Dalton. Now a lot of beautiful passengers ends up in the feet of Perestrello. Perestrello Looking for somewhere to go. Franco working as well, riding the line, running into a lot of problems, being bear hugged over by Hinu. Finally, Franco able to clear some space and get up to Nunez. Nunez goes for Kanika on the far side. He's got to play it off his foot. A little bit of a bicycle kick. Now still up with it. Kanika moving in a lot with the left. Now with the right. Fires a shot and pushed away. Kanika still inside the box. Moving up with it, Kanika rides the line, a ball set up, still up, a lot of chaos inside the box and sent away. Just a lot going on inside as Franco able to get a foot on it and the Elite, with all that going on, come away with nothing, 3-0. All of it was set up by Kanika and just some great defense there. You had Kieran Dalton as well. My goodness, the Morris Elite, you gotta feel should have came away with something there as Perestrello is going to take a seat and now we've got sub Jeremy Peterson coming in for this one. Peterson who is dealing with a hamstring problem himself a couple games ago. Comes in for this one. Besides really the two opportunities, you had the, the third one and you had the one with Morgan as well, but that was shut down pretty quickly. The Elite have done a good job at least defensively besides the, the breakdowns from Molina. Defensively from Riley, Morgan, Perestrello, Peterson as well. They've done pretty good as now Nunez up ahead with it. Pascarella plays it off his, now up ahead and just... Pushed all the way to the left. Franco a little too fast with it. It was a tricky one that he had to play off his chest and then kind of just bounced all over the place. Now whistles blow, Nunez hit the deck and Suman was the one who was all over him there. So Morgan will look to set something up. You have Peterson on the side. Now he elects to go that way and Peterson way off sides was calling for it. 
about five or six seconds ago, and Morgan just never sent it that way. You had Peterson breaking down the side. Bronco playing it off his foot. Nunez doing a good job of getting in the passing lane and Matsu was the one right there. Riley's gotta come up to play it and finally they send it away. Peterson's there. See, the lead in the last 10 minutes or so have done a good job of attacking offensively as now once again, Peterson holding that hamstring as they set up on the far side. Zakowski flips it off of his foot, kind of weird. Now still with it. He takes a fall. They're gonna say it's a clean tackle. Puentes is gonna move it over to Streeter, just too far out of his reach. Could have had an opportunity there. Just once again, some of these passes sent over by the Morris Lee just too far out of ranges. Bunch of good opportunities. They could just time up those passes just a little more. Amber's doing a good job of just playing keep away. Smackish sends one over on the side. DiPretto over there and Morgan just sets a screen, not allowing him to get through. They're gonna put it in the hands of Molina once again. We haven't seen Molina in about 10, 15 minutes or so. The last time that we really saw him was at the corner kick. Haven't really seen him otherwise as Riley plays one over to Streeter and rides that line. Riley sets one up and Kanika was the one who was there. 42 minutes left to go and a lot of momentum has come from the Moore's loot specifically and they've been able to mount the really good offensive possessions, it's just haven't been able to come away with anything. A lot of that's on the shoulders of Kieran Dolan and the defenders as well. I mean, he knew has been basically everywhere in terms of trying to get a foot on the ball. Rojek too. Done a good job of getting in between the passing lanes, but still a lot of stuff has opened up for the elite. This last 10 minutes or so, it's basically been a tale of the first half and then the second half of this first. It's now Franco trying to range one over. Beautiful slide tackle from Franco sets up Peterson. As now Pascarella takes a fall and Franco comes up with it. Matsu now with it up ahead. Still trying to get somewhere with it as the Elite just can't control it on offense as now they go far and Riley plays it off now to Morgan. Hamadou working over, he's got a lot of good opportunities in this one as Pascarella able to play it off the foot and rides the line, a throw in coming. 43-50 and no signal yet on how much extra time, if any. You had the Perestrello trainer come out. Probably looking at about three extra minutes or so. Peterson was an absolute laser of a of a throw and is now Matsu ranging all the way over and he's got no help with him regardless. Bronco plays it off his stomach, has Matsu up ahead and no whistles blow, finally. Offsides call that came a little late, Matsu and it seemed like he knew it right away. Would have been set up for 
An opportunity. As the Elite just play it all the way back. We hit 45 and no signal yet on extra time as they play it up ahead for Hamadou and Molina's got to come out of the box. Sets up at the top, goes back in. and Now Molina sets up Streeter, couldn't control it on his leg. Now finally takes it and whistles blow. Streeter, it would have been a three on three because you had Kanika and Matsu with him to his right. And you know Streeter can run as well. Kanika is another one who could run. So you set up your very fast guys on that side. As now a crosser up ahead, just too far out of range. Peterson's raining down. Pascarella's to his right. Pascarella finally plays it off his foot. It's throwing coming. As now working inside the box. Ball fluttered up, played off the chest. Now still working. Riley gets a foot on it. Push back out. Still moving inside the box, the ball fluttered and hits inside the back of the net. Went off the feet of a lot of defenders and we've got a 4-0 game. Hammer score in extra time here in the end of this first half. It's been all hammers here in this one. It hit a lot of feet on the way in, but it looked like Hinu and Suman were the ones who were right there. Molina kind of, it didn't seem like he misjudged it, more of just like the ball, I, I would say, changed directions a couple times. Reader now on the throw in. It's been pretty devastating for the Morris Elite to have that happen at the later stages, specifically with extra time as Kanika can't collect it from Matsuo. And that's going to do it for this first half in a 4 0 game. Morris Elite had three goals against them pretty quickly, and then a fourth. Just about a minute ago, if you just joined in now, Horsley have had some good opportunities. Had Matsuo earlier, Kanika as well, but between the Molina mental errors and Riley had the penalty shot and then the absolute backbreaker just about two minutes ago, the Morris Elite find themselves in a large hole here, down 4-0. to zero. Here with Morris Sussex Sports as we head into halftime. We'll see you in about 15 minutes or so. I've been Nick Carlson right here on Morris Elite TV. Cool. Sports is a special time in their life you don't want to regret missing. If you're not present for these events due to drinking, misusing medication, or lost control using drugs recreationally, the team at Recovery Centers of America can help. My name is Don, and I'm a treatment advocate for RCA, and I stopped drinking 30 years ago. If I can do it, so can you. Muster up the courage and call me anytime, even in the middle of the night, at 973-722-4720 for a confidential conversation so we can get you back in the stands where you belong. Concerned family members can also call me. Again, any conversation will be absolutely discreet. I am here for you. Just pick up the phone. is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Hmm. Huh. 
Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. WISC gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WISC Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with better with physical therapy located in the madison ymca request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com it's your time to shine this summer we are ready to help you conquer any exam our expert tutors will teach you key concepts useful strategies and time management skills to make you feel more ready for exams here are the tests we can help you prepare for Give us a call today to learn more about our test preparation programs and to set up your initial assessment. We'll give you a practice test and use your scores to help create a customized game plan. Jen Basilino of the Kosha Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973 202 2103. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zoom instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here.
you're there for them, we're here for you. Get back the life you love. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right because CCMs are the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. The perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Is it time for you to replace your roof? Well, give Hadco Builders in Chester, New Jersey a call. They've built an amazing reputation over the past 30 years as one of New Jersey's top builders. Hadco will replace your roof the right way at a super fair price and usually get the job done by the time you come home from work. Call or text Tony to get a quote today at 973-818-8516 or visit them at hadcobuilders.com. Morris Sussex Sports has a big goal we want to ask your help in achieving. One of the most popular things we do is publish digital trading cards of athletes. We feel strongly that high school athletes are one of the most important parts of our community, and the trading cards allow us to recognize and celebrate as many athletes as possible. So we have a lofty mission to create a trading card for every single athlete that wears a sports jersey in the Morris Sussex area. But to do that, we need more local businesses that want to help us by sponsoring these trading cards. This is a great way for a business to endear themselves to the communities they do business in. And not only would their business be featured prominently as a sponsor of a new scholar athlete every week, we also advertise them across our social media, our website, and our game broadcasts. And we get over 4 million views a week, 80% of whom are adults 35 to 65. There is no other publication or media company that has even close to that reach in this region. So if you know of a local business that loves to support the scholar athletes in their town or their surrounding area and would benefit from the exposure we would bring, please send them our way. Just call or text 973-713-5944 or email george at morrissussexsports.com. The Green Wave isn't just what we call ourselves. It represents all we are called to. We strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true to putting others before ourselves, to the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll Wave.
At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Back here at Frederick Douglass Field, just under 30 seconds left to go in a 4-0 game. Hudson Valley Hammers really started off with a little bit of a bang. Matias Molina had two turnovers that kind of just led right to the goals. Riley in that defensive spot had a little bit of a penalty shot mishap where he kind of just pulled down Hamadou. And I don't know if it would have led to a goal or not, but regardless... Sean Riley credited with the foul, led to a penalty shot, and then the third goal coming on the later stages had led to the fourth goal, an absolute backbreaker for the Morris Elite. As we've got some subs coming in as well. I thought that we would see Nicholas Zielanka, the leading goal scorer, he leads with six goals, has six of the 19, now make it six of the 22 goals, if you're going to count the goals that have been scored in this one actually make it 23. That fourth goal just on the later stages. So now 23 goals for and zero goals against in terms of for the Hudson Valley Hammers. We also have some subs as well. Nicholas Fernandez and Samuel Epitime will come in for Devin Hinu and Matthew Wyant. You saw Devin Hinu. Get very involved in terms of the defensive stops he was able to make. He had a big one with Kanika and then another big one with Nunez where he was able to shut him down. But other than that, it's a lot of the same guys. Ethan Streeter, Gonzalo Franco, Matsuo, Riley, Kanika, Pascarella, Puentes, Morgan. As you see, Riley just trying to get his team... A little bit more hyped as Jeremy Peterson comes out as well. Good to see him up and moving. Was dealing with a hamstring injury for the last couple of weeks or so. Now in a situation where they need him and down by four to mount any sort of something. The Morris Elite is going to have to do something that they've never done, and that's score four more goals on the season. If you're just joining us now, Hudson Valley who sits at the two spot, Morris Elite at the eight spot. 18 points for Hudson Valley, seven for the Morris Elite. An 11 point differential, and you look at the points per match. The Elite with .8, Hudson Valley with 2.25. So a battle of basically the David versus Goliath here. As we're set and about to get underway in this one. It's also a good time to let you know before we start and the refs make their way out. The Morris Elite Camps are currently going on right now. You can get your kids into the game with Morris Elite 2023 Summer Camps. They actually take place here, whether it's the soccer tournament camps, goalkeeper technical camps. They've all just started this past Monday. and You can be a part of Morris Elite. For more information, go to www.morriselitesoccer.com slash summer camps for more information. As referees wind up, everyone gets set. A little bit of a hesitation now finally getting it going. 
Second half officially underway. Saw a lot of press from Hudson Valley, kind of turned away from it. That led to the elite kind of getting a little closer to the box. About 32 minutes through, there really wasn't a whole lot of anything in terms of getting near the box. As now pushing it over, Epa time. Looking over towards the Alinka had an opportunity. Molina had to dive over. Peterson's trying to range down on it. Molina almost forced to make another save. Is now inside the box off the feet of Morgan. Still with it. Molina comes over and it spins backwards out the goal line. No signal yet on if it's going to be a corner or a goal kick. Now they're going to say it's a corner. So last one off the foot of Morgan. Molina just kind of watched it go out of bounds. Could have had a chance to save it, but that ball was spinning at a rapid rate. Minute 15 through, and we have our first corner kick coming here from Hudson Valley, headed away, still inside the box. Hamadou ranging over Peterson as well. Hamadou plays it off his foot, and finally Pascarella pushes it away. Kanika sends one all the way over. Puentes coming in hot, and then finally rides the line. A throw in coming. Peterson's done a good job in the minutes that he's played, but he's also, if he's not dealing with an injury, he was dealing with one in the middle part of the season that kept him out for a good portion of the time as Franco and Puentes trying to pass back and forth. Now up with it, Epitime using his speed, getting around Streeter and Riley able to get a foot on it before it goes off of Epitime and It'll be Molina with the ball if you're also interested in the USLW League. As of five minutes ago, it looked like it was going to head into half a 1-0 game. Claire Manning on the board with a goal. Elite trying to do the same thing, just trying to get on the board here as Franco sets one over. Cialanca plays it. And then finally, Dalton gets his first touch of the second half. As now whistles blow. And no signal yet as Nunez quickly just trying to get rid of it. And Morgan and Franco playing it back and forth. So you've got a 6-2 and two team in Hudson Valley. If they'd win this one, they'd go up to 7-2 and two and... They would stick at where they are currently. Still mostly because the Rough Riders are 9-1-1. One, and one. Hudson Valley has not tied a game, so in terms of tiebreakers, standings, and so on, that tie could be huge. As Nunez quickly moving up, trying to set up Kanika out of his range, and Streeter trying to take a step in front of it as well. Now finally, just quickly moving up with it. Franco tried to do something with it. Zialanka just basically moving through everybody, setting up Hamadou. Hamadou working on Peterson, a bunch of fancy moves, spinning around Peterson, playing tight on him, and finally gets away. A great defensive play by Peterson. Now working inside. Sikowski's doing a good job of at least moving around and playing keep away. But besides the opportunity in the early stages with the corner kick, both of just been both of these teams kind of just trying to control possession in the middle half. Kanika now trying to range one over, plays it off and just completely takes a shove. If whistles blew regardless, it'd be on the line. 
And Ika looks to be okay as Matsu plays it off of his foot. And then goes back to Morgan. Morgan lost it for a sec, and then now here comes Hamadou, setting one up ahead. Riley's gotta come all the way over, finally punches it away. Riley trying to just get her way with it. Now one set up, inside the box, can't get a foot on it. Franco plays it back, and a good opportunity there from Zakowski. A little bit of chaos on the two on one. Streeter and Matsu, it's been a lot of passing back and forth between them as Franco now working over, lost it and just can't control it. Now just trying to get rid of it, passes it up. Kanika doing a good job of moving forward with it. Nunez as well. Now goes to the far side, Pascarella edging into the box and a grounder. Just ends up right in the hands of Kieran Dalton. And a lot of Hamadou as he looks towards Zikowski once again. Zikowski has been set up a couple times in this one. The one that was on the corner kick and then also the one that happened just a couple seconds ago with Suman and Zikowski as the elite being forced to push back as now they set up Matsu. Matsu and Kanika. Kanika looking for someone to go, moves with the right, tries to set up a cutting Pascarella, and it's just headed back to Dalton. The holes are there. It's more of just that the elite just can't seem to just time up the passes as well as accurately place them really wherever they want. Has now Morgan, plays one off the line and keeps it in. Peterson doing a good job as well. Franco just goes back and Riley looks for somewhere to go. Now Puentes up to Pascarell. They had this same situation just a couple seconds ago. He crosses it, Kanika's coming, and then finally just pushed out of the box. Still up with it is Puentes. Hey, he fires a shot, pushed up and saved away by Dalton. So a corner kick coming and a good opportunity there for Nunez and Puentes. Another situation where just a lot of chaos inside the box and Dalton and the defense have done a good job of just keeping it away is now on the corner kick. Kanika heads one up, still in. Now Puentes and Nunez. Just too far to the right and for the hammers, these goals just, they came so easy just with the one bounce or so. The elite, it's its just been a fight just to get one into the back of the net and they've had so many opportunities with it. As Matsu trying to range down, gets him to turn around, Matsu moving in, punches one up and finally just not there. Kanika had an opportunity. If that pass got back to him, Pascarella crosses one up once again, goes off of the arm of Rojak. The Elite have been knocking on the door for what's well, felt like about 30 minutes now. There's been little situations here and then where they've had the opportunity inside the box Haven't been able to cash in on it. Has Nunez, boots one going way deep and completely overshoots it. Dolan who didn't have to face a whole lot in that first half, had a couple of situations here and then had the one situation where basically a battering ball inside the box. The same situation right there. 
little bit more has come along with it. You don't have Perestrello as well as now Kanika looks up ahead. He's got Streeter coming to his left, and now he goes that way. Streeter getting trapped in the corner and finally punched away by Epitome. A throw in coming. Franco runs into a lot of problems. Now moves it over. Kanika runs into a lot of problems as well. Now moving into the box. Lost it for a sec. Now looking for somewhere to go. He's got a wide open Nunez. Plays it off his foot. Takes a fall. Clean tackle. 55-39 through. And here come the Hammers. Now ball set up ahead. Molina has to come all the way over and snag it at the top. For 10 minutes through and... Look, like there's been a lot more going on here in this first half as Nunez is down. Looks like he got his foot tangled underneath. Not sure exactly what it is. But just needing to be helped up 56-14 through. You've had Puentes and Nunez both have a lot of good looks. Kanika as well. Kanika had a great one in the first half. Was able to spin around a couple defenders and basically have a point blank shot. But right when he spun and kind of got his head turned up, Dalton was already waiting right there about five feet away from him. So Riley moves one up. A perfectly played ball off Matsua. Now Kanika, a bunch of good moves. Now moving inside the box and just another one, just the pass, just couldn't get there. Kanika's done very well so far in terms of opening up the opportunities as now Hamadou and Peterson play it all the way back. And Molina plays it off, lost it for a second, jumps on it. Molina's just struggled to get it outside the box. Made the save there, but... Just dangerous as Riley doing a good job of facilitating. As now they go to Pascarella, he's showing off his speed, and he just plays it right off of the feet of a defender. So Peterson's gonna be the one on the throw in. Just sitting, waiting. A lot of time taken off the clock and he just throws it and gets sent back. So we'll redo the long pause from Jeremy Peterson. So wind up and throw one deep inside the box. Matsu plays it off his foot, still inside the box, now ball fired, still sent away, fired once again and saved away. Dalton, another one he gets in front of. Dalton's done a good job in net so far. An elite team that has eight goals for, so usually when one comes, they usually come in bunches, but I don't know if that's the case with this Moore's elite team who Finds themselves a lot of time in the defensive zone just like they do now, is now moving up and in. Soman up ahead and just ends up turning it over as Kanika plays it back to Riley. They go over to Peterson, he's pretty much wide open now. Pascarella on the far side, crosses one over. Matsu plays it off his foot, now still with it, and finally taken away. The elite, my goodness, in the last 10 minutes or so, have really been everywhere inside the boxes. Nunez takes another fall, and they set up now on the side. Suman moving in on Riley, inside the box. Now fires one sent away by Molina. With 59-45. Elite 
being heavily pressed here as Molina just sends one all the way away for throwing. Coming here for the Hammers. We've officially got Liam Evans coming in for Andre Cutler de Jesus and Israel Neto for Hamadou. So, Hamadou, who had a good portion of the opportunities, had a goal as well, will come out and now give the reins. Over to Israel Neto and Liam Evans. Still no Nicholas Zelenka. Not sure if they're thinking they don't need him or what the case is, but still inside the box is Riley. Trying to do a good job of pushing it away. Franco now gets his feet on it, and now Kanika up ahead with it. Kanika sets up Masu. He's got Puentes right in front of him. Now goes that way, kind of just kicked off the back foot of a couple defenders. Matsu looks over at Puentes. Puentes runs into a lot of problems. And then goes back for Riley. Franco gets around a couple defenders. Now has Puentes. Puentes back to Nunez. Nunez has been pretty much open at that top line. Hasn't really just been able to get a clean opportunity. As Morgan gets a body to fall. And then now rides down the line, a goal kick coming. 61-48 through. As we've now got a 2-0 game for the girls game over FA Euro New York. We also just found out that if the girls win against FA Euro New York, they will clinch the playoffs. Division is a whole other story within itself. You had the Long Island Rough Riders at the top, a team that the Morris Lee did lose 2-1, to one, but then they dominated here at home. As now Nunez moving quickly. He's got a lot of bodies tangled all over him. As finally whistles blow. Nunez basically just being held completely through as Franco goes towards Streeter. Rito up ahead to Matsu. Matsu was being held for a second, and now finally the Hammer's able to get it away. Sikowski and Epitime working. Riley takes a step in front of it. Now they just trying to move it past the midfield line and going very slowly with it are the Elite. on the far side, Puentes lost it for a sec. Just dancing all around and Puentes just can't get a foot on it and finally Morgan and Peterson up ahead with it and now whistles blow. As that one was pretty obvious to say the least, 63-34. Puentes, you could maybe say, make the argument he got his arm tangled but it looked more like he kind of just grabbed onto him. That ball kind of came off of Dalton's foot weird. Now set up ahead for Matsu. And Matsu, I mean, could have had an opportunity there. Looked like he was just a tad off sides. They thought about going back to Dalton, or at least that's how it looks. Now Epitime up ahead, and if Riley doesn't get there, finally he does. Riley just a couple steps ahead as Molina boots it all the way over. Epitime basically just takes it up the forehead. Zakowski up ahead with it, gets Riley moving, fires a shot, misses high into the gravel, and right into the waiting hands of a fan. Also a good 
good time at the 65 minute mark, 25 minutes. So we hit 90 on the end of this game. The Morris Elite Cup, it did happen 2023. Look again for it in 2024. The games that just kicked off last weekend had about 50 or so teams. It was U8 to U18, boys and girls. Look at it for that 2024 season. And what's to come with the Morris Elite? You can get involved and stay tuned and look out for the 2024 Morris Elite Cup. As Streeter ran into problems with Epitime, and Epitime thought it was out on him, so he just kind of threw it in. Molina sends it back, so. A little bit of a time waster there for Hudson Valley. Peterson doing a good job of moving it forward for Pascarella. Set one up ahead. Matsu fires a ground ball. And you got to think for Kieran Dalton, who's got to have five or six saves. I, I'd make the argument five of them have been ground balls. Just all he's had to do is just lay down on them. Besides the one from Kanika and then the one off of Puentes that was right inside the box that he played off of his hand. Really nothing has really been that crazy for Dalton as Puente steps in front of one. Streeter moving on that near side, runs into problems. Epitime doing a good job of playing it away and a throw in coming. Franco gets around a couple, floats one up, and it rides down that line and inside, so a throw in coming. Got a sub coming as well. We got two subs coming. So they're finally going to bring in Nicholas Zialinka. Leading goal scorer very late in this one. So Zikowski is going to take a seat. Zielinski is going to come in. So Maury Powder is going to come in as well. Not sure who they took out for powder. Looks to be Alex Zielinka and then Zikowski. So Zielinka and Zikowski are going to take a seat. And then they bring in another Zielinka in his brother Nicholas. And then Samori Powder too. And now Epitime up with it. And whistles blow as Nunez and... Epitime's feet got tangled, and now they give up a yellow card. Looked to be for Epitime. Nunez looked to be a little bit in pain, but Epitime didn't seem that happy with the call. Streeter and Riley just passing back and forth and another one just too far out of the range. Puentes looks like he hurt his knee. Pulled out his shin card and in pain. As now quickly up ahead, Nunez pushes one all the way down the line. Pascarella is there. And then now moving quickly, Pascarella fires a shot and misses high. Is clear and down in pain. 69-30 through. Not sure if they're going to pull the trainers yet, but now they will pull the trainers as they come out for Puentes, who is in some serious pain here. Under about 20 minutes left to go right here with Morris Sussex Words. We're going to take a quick time out for the trainers to come look at Puentes. Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, 
Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Back here at Frederick Douglass Field, Nick Carlson here. So we had Henrique Perestrello who came off just a little bit ago. About at the 30 minute mark of this one, then you brought in Jeremy Peterson. He went down with an injury. Now Puentes out as well. Ralph Pascarella seemed to have went down on the last shot using his speed on the far side. Just not sure where he went down, but you've got now coming off the bench, Mohit Nagam, Justin Pierre, and then Peterson, who had come in earlier. So you've got three of the subs. Exercising four of the subs. Are the Hammers. Under 29 left to go. you got to think a lot of extra time is coming in. As Franco climbs the ladder and gets one over, now Pierre quickly off the bench, able to get a foot on it. And Nagam just trying to play some defense. Pierre as well. Now Nagam and Pierre pressuring. As that ball flutters down the side. Peterson off the throw, and you know he can throw it. He heads it up, still in. Now Kanika tries to play it off of his foot, still up inside the box, and finally the Hammers able to get it away. Epitime working on Franco, quickly speeding around him, using his speed, as now Franco just wraps his arm basically straight around De Jesus. Here in Dalton, at least for the majority that he's played, it's, it's been ground balls here and there, but when he's had to make the big save, he's made it. As Streeter heads one out of bounds. Epitime working on, now Franco as well. Streeter has to get involved too, and finally that ball flutters out. As now we've got a 3-0 game in the USLW game. As they're in the second half, that ball rolls out. So 3-0 in terms of for the girls. Got to think probably getting pretty close to playoff time for the girls. As the Hammers are moving quickly, gets around Franco. Up and in is Neto, and now whistles blow off sides called. So a kick coming ahead for Molina. It's also a girls team who Melina Rabimis has been phenomenal on the season as well. She heads to UNC. Gets ready for her freshman year at the number one team in all of women's soccer. In terms of the preseason rankings. As Melina sends one all the way over. Matsu was the one Waiting. That ball was absolutely rocketed from the back of the net. See a Wonka boots went all the way down, a whistle's blow, and it's 
Now we're under 15, and the elite in terms of just trying to get goals on the board, get that goals four up. Be pretty daunting, down by four. As Peterson just plays the ball weird off the foot, and it rides perfectly down that line. And he just absolutely unleashes one. Nagam tries to play it off of his foot, and they push it all the way down. Morgan still able to get a foot on it. Now here come the hammers up ahead. Powder the one with it. Epitime getting involved as well. Working on Riley. Moving into the corner. Floats one up. Molina plays to his left. Now Zielinski's there too. And now finally whistles blow. As it looks to be Peterson currently down on that far side. No whistles yet on exactly what happened, but you know Peterson was dealing with the hamstring issue earlier. Seems to be holding it back that way as they will call the trainers over. So they're going to take a look at Peterson with the hamstring problems that he's had. Be interesting to see what happens with him. 76-32 through Nick Carlson here. More Sussex Sports on Morris Lee TV. Dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Hey, we're talking to you. Don't let the summer sun melt your child's mind. Our customized learning and passion exploring programs are the perfect way to beat the dreaded summer slump. Instead of losing two to three months of learning this summer, we're helping students gain a month of learning by the fall. Our fun and engaging tutors are ready to help. Call to inquire about our programs and special promotions, including small group tutoring for only $45. We'll see you this summer. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Back here at Frederick Douglass Field, Jeremy Peterson, who went down with a little bit of a hamstring problem, walking off the field and very gingerly. A couple games ago, same situation had happened where kind of just away from the play, he had went down, not sure what it was, but it ended up being a hamstring problem that kept him out for a couple weeks. Missed him for a little bit. As now a lot of subs come in. You see a lot of them run through the screen. Thomas Osterman, to name one of them, Oliver Carbonic, Ethan Kilnick. As Peterson still slowly making his way over as they play all the way back with extra time on the horizon, probably about 14, 15 minutes or so left to go in this one. As this ball's punched all the way over, Streeter's gotta play it back. Molina grabs it with his one hand. And then now looking for somewhere to go that thought about going deep with it. And then finally plays one off his foot. In this second half, he's gotten a lot better in terms of getting it away. In the beginning, he kinda just had ones that whiffed off of his foot. Huge reason as to why that led to the quick two goals as Streeter working on Epitime. Lee 
Knight doing a good job of keeping it away and Pierre now battling down that sideline and it's gonna end up back with Hudson Valley. Just a perfectly placed pass now up ahead, fires a shot and Molina can't get there, another goal. Coming in number five here for the Hammers. 110 left to go and quickly with the bench assets coming in for both of these teams. We've got a five goal game in favor of the Hammers. So the Hammers is just a great pass that was set up and you saw at the time the one who set it up, Soman as well. As Nunez almost spins around everybody and Franco tried to get a foot on it. That quickly sets up Streeter. Streeter moving up ahead. A bunch of good moves. A little bit of an ankle breaker. Streeter moving through everybody and lost it down the line as Powder's got to play it to Epitime. time. Now a lot of bouncing balls. Streeter coming over with Carbonic and a throw in coming here from Powder. Nunez and Streeter doing a good job of playing it back and forth. Under nine left to go and Pierre, he's come off the bench the majority of the time, has been more of a sixth man of the year and he comes up with it, lost it on his foot and Nagam was the closest one but just too far out of his reach. As now they get past Osterman, Moving quickly up ahead, trying to time one up, and Osterman just pokes one away. Would have been a great opportunity for Soman. Could have made it a 6-0 game. Osterman just able to toe poke that one away. Doing a good job of pressing, but still, now it's up ahead. The hammer's moving closely, fires a shot. Molina couldn't collect it, now he does. Lost it on the rebound there. 83-01. Probably about three, four minutes of extra time set to go after we hit the 90 minute mark. It was after the 45 that the hammer scored at the end of the first half. Now a good header, Pieter just handed it into the ground. Moving down, all the way over. Solanka finally sent away. Riley able to just push it off of his chest as now they go for Nunez. Nunez and Nagam playing it off and Nagam sends it all the way into the fences. Talking before about bright cleats. They brought in Nagam and Carbonic, both with pink cleats on. Everybody else wears the white and black for the most part. You got Franco with orange, but Nagam, the one who just lost it. Now Nunez and Nagam playing back and forth, just too far out of the reach, and finally Pierre. Set up a lot of good passing from the elite, but not a lot of it moving forward. He's doing a good job as Kilmnick. Now Nagam tries to get a step on it. Now pushes back. Kilmnick with it. Elite's pass in the last 30 seconds has been good, but it's a lot of left to right and not forwards and backwards. As Streeter and Nunez, a beautiful pass. Now Franco. Goes over to Carbonic and he rides that line and just kicks it out. It's been a lot of great passing, but 
a lot of it's really going nowhere. Dalton's done a good job of booting him all the way towards midfield, but for the most part, it's now Epa time. After one that played off of Streeter's head weird, still able to collect it in Riley. And Franco just not on the same page there as Franco takes a fall. Now was the blow Epa time. Got all over him on that one. Now over Nagab, just not on the same page. The passing, if it's good, it's just not moving forward. And if it's bad, it's just not even getting there. As now firing one and another ground ball. Kieran Dalton has not had to really make a save on a ball that really has gotten about a foot off the ground or more. As the Gom steps in front of a pass, Nunez tried to collect it and it still just ends up in the hands of the Hammers. As now Epitime takes a little bit of a fall, refs come over, no yellow card or anything as Franco said. Basically, I, I didn't mean to, that was that was on me, but Hudson Valley with, with how this game is gone. Have it at five goals to zero. Now we'll, airing any real goal four or if they allow a goal, we'll sit at 24 and 12. With a goal differential of 12. Be huge in terms of the points per match and playoffs and what would come as Molina saves on that line drive right into his chest. So they'll go to seven and two. Long Island on their hands, still at nine one and one. Be tough to catch them. They pull away from Manhattan for the most part. Manhattan doesn't play until they play Westchester in a couple of weeks or so. As Franco just took one to the rib cage. As Carbonic now runs over and Franco getting up slowly. Got NJ Copa up there as well at that four spot. Also five and three. Cedar Stars at five and four. So a little bit of a stacked top. And then you've got Westchester, Morrisley, FA Euro, New York, and Ironbound in those bottom four spots. So for the Hammers, it's good in terms of pulling away and getting those goals for as Molina plays one. Just sets up easily for the Hammers. Is now Epa time working over for Powder. Powder being chased down by Streeter, and finally Streeter sends it away. With the Amoris Elite and their loss in this one, granted we do have just a couple minutes left to go, but they will most likely move to 2 6 and 1. Goals 4 will still stick at 8. So they will be 8 and 25 with a goal differential of minus 17 with a corner kick coming in this one. Headed up in the air, Molina has gotta catch it. Nick Zialinka was the one who had the corner kick. Been talking about him all night. He's been phenomenal on the season with his six goals. I haven't really seen him get a lot of touches. He came off the bench at around the 65, 70 minute mark or so. As Franco just gets one back to Molina. as Nagam and Co passing forward. If I'm not mistaken to what I just heard on the mic, six extra minutes to be added. I heard it very faintly as Epitime takes a fall and quickly he knew it right away so he went out to go grab it, just now slows it down. And we'll look ahead now over, firing a shot off of Osterman and now still ending up with it.
Still 3-0 in that USLW game. A Morris Elite women's team that just dominates on all fronts specifically. When you're led by one of the top goal scorers in the USLW in Claire Manning, it's pretty easy to be at the top. And they sit at that number two spot just behind the Rough Riders who they did beat by a wide margin as well as Franco doing a good job playing it up to Carbonic. Carbonic up ahead looking for somewhere to go. He takes a fall, whistles blow. Not sure if the ref had the yellow card. Now he's got the yellow card, so a kick coming. Carbonic was the one who took the fall. Matsuo was the one that was just in front of him, but it looks like Nunez is going to be the one to kick it. So Zilinka going over to talk to the referees. A little bit of an argument between them, but it will be Nunez the one that kick it. Game that started with Perestrello and Puentes to his left and right has now just come down to Nunez and Franco. As Nunez lining up, it's a 5 0 game, trying to make it 5 1. At the end of the extra time, sent away, and Nunez pushes it back, and the Elite just trying to mount something here in the offensive zone. As now finally whistles blow, I had thought it was going to be six minutes on extra time, at least to what I thought, but regardless, that's going to be the end of this one. In a 5-0 game, the Hammers basically took the Elite to town. Two in the quick first five minutes or so, and then another one coming off the Riley penalty kick and just never looked back from there. Two more poured on on the later stages. Molina walking off slowly. Two of them were credited against him in terms of just kicking it right back to him, but a lot for the most part went wrong for this Morris Elite team. Passing offensively, defensively. Have a couple more games left to go, but the Morris Elite lose this one 5-0 to zero for everybody here in the booth. I've been Nick Carlson here at Frederick Douglass Field alongside Morris Sussex Sports. We'll see you on Saturday right here on Morris Elite TV. Suman, Jaid Hamadou, and Ben Zakowski as Morgan plays it back to Molina. Started out the season with Velasquez as Molina punts one away and now shot and scored. Just a quick one, Molina just sent it right over on the top of the box and for playoffs and wild cards. Hudson Valley hammers. Whether winning the division or not, as Molina plays one weird off of his foot, still inside the box, now fired and into the back of the net. Molina. Another one just kind of came off his foot weird, and it leads to two of which mostly his fault. As now 2-0 and finds the right side of the net, make it 3-0. Muhammad Suman, 20-38 through. And finally just trying to get it away, and they do. The Hammer's doing a good job, is now set up on the side, Morgan's not there, Hamadou up ahead, finally sends one away. Morgan showing off the speed, Pascarella trying to keep it in, rides the line perfectly, and oh, moving quickly. Up ahead, now Kanika plays it off of his foot, moving with the right up ahead, Matsu fires his shot, and it's a ground ball right into the waiting hands of Kieran Dalton some space and get up to Nunez. Nunez goes for Kanika on the far side. He's got to play it off his foot. A little bit of a bicycle kick. Now still up with it. Kanika moving in a lot with the left. Now with the right. Fires a shot and pushed away. Kanika still inside the box. Moving up with it. Kanika a tail of the first half and then the second half. 
of this first. So now Franco trying to range one over. Beautiful slide tackle from Franco sets up Peterson. He's now working inside the box. Ball fluttered up, played off the chest. Now still working. Riley gets a foot on it, pushed back out. Still moving inside the box, ball fluttered and hits inside the back of the net. Went off the feet of a lot of defenders. Now Puentes up to Pascarell. They had this same situation just a couple seconds ago. He crosses it, Kanika's is coming, and then finally just pushed out of the box. Still up with it is Puentes. Hey, he fires a shot, pushed up and saved away by Dalton. Kanika's done very well so far in terms of opening up the opportunities as now Hamadou and Peterson play it all the way back. And Molina plays it off, lost it for a second, jumps on it. Molina is just now battling down that sideline. And he's gonna end up back with Hudson Valley. Just a perfectly placed pass now up ahead, fires a shot and Molina can't get there, another goal. Coming in number five here for the Hammers. Click with it. He's passing in the last 30 seconds has been good, but it's a lot of left to right and not forwards and backwards. Ash Streeter and Nunez, a beautiful pass. Now Franco goes over to Carbonic.